Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tai Devachu Guy, and this is the number eight review of group number nine, Dry Snuff Nasal. Okay, so all of these groupings, all of these snuff reviews are on one playlist. It will pop up at the end of this video, and it is called Dry Snuff Nasal. Along with it popping up will be a video that is monetized. That is how the channel is creating revenue while doing tobacco. So if you would, thank you. So we're taking a look at this guy. This is Hedges the Snuff in a 20 gram tin. And the tin, there's not much to it, but there is a surprise on the back, a good one. So we're going to take it over the desk and have a closer look at that packaging and the product inside. Okay, and here we are. So it's a fairly good size tin. It is a metal tin. To give you an idea, it's almost the dimensions. It's a little actual deeper than a dip can and almost as wide. Almost. It does sit inside the rim of the Stoker's can. So, you have a sticker on the front. Everything is pretty straightforward. With that name, it's about as straightforward as you can get, I suppose. All right, there is cellophane going around the packaging, and there is the tear line there marked in red. On the back, now this is promoted as the typical or sort of lightly mentholated English snuff. This is what English snuff is. But on the back you will see it is not made in England anymore anyway. So you have the barcode there, the fact that it is hedges 20 grams. But, and this is actually an ups, a, a plus for me, it is made for McBaron Tobacco Company, which is out of Denmark. Why is that a plus for me? Well, when it comes to pipe tobacco, I daily use half and half. But yeah, and I actually had to think about that for a second. I do not know why. Um, that said, there are a number of McBaron tobaccos that I do like. Why, besides the tobacco itself, do I like McBaron? Because it is one of the only large tobacco companies on planet earth that is still family owned run and operated and that is why so even though this is coming out of denmark and is not actually coming out of england anymore i'm okay with that considering who it's coming from with that i am going to settle the product in the can the can's pretty big uh I have never had this before. I hear good things, always have. But I do not know firsthand. Uh, I did not know until looking over the package after it came that it was a McBaron product, even. So they got a pretty heavy cellophane going there, and I'm guessing this is a lift off top. There is grip on the bottom and top, but I have a feeling this is just going to lift off, and it is. So it's not screw-down packaging. This is not one for the pocket. For whatever reason, though, it's giving me issue here. Whoa, and I am coming up over the edges there. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Um, they used the entirety of that can, and now I am very carefully trying to get that away from the edge. It's sitting up about three or four millimeter on the one side, and that was after settling it. There must be, like, little or no room in the container. Ah, I lost a little bit, and I lost a little bit more because I can't really see that side. Okay, so it is coming up basically as it looks. It is very fine stuff. 
there is more moisture than I thought there would be, and I can tell by the clumping, how that's clumping up there. If you see how that's clumping, I'm turning the spoon and it's sticking to it. So, there's a good bit of moisture. Now that I've spilt some, let's see if we can utilize... Uh, you know what? It's really soft stuff. It's, it's a very, very fine grind. We're milling if you want, uh, but it is soft to the touch. There are no chunks or anything like that going on in it. Smelling the hand, I am picking up menthol right off the bat. I have high hopes for this review, so we're going to get it back up top so I can get it going. Okay, and we are back. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so I just got one bump on my hand. I'm going to pinch it because that's been working well for me. Uh, it seems to cut down on the sneezing. And I'm doing just as much because I'm going multiple times each one. So actually, now that I think about it, this probably isn't enough. But that's another somewhat angle on the color. That's actually coming off a little bit lighter than the stuff is in person. But let us see. Not so much a burn, but a definite tingle that will be the menthol. And it is coming off to me as actual menthol. as opposed to, you know, camphor or mint or anything else. This is actually menthol. The menthol is not overpowering, so it's not like some of the German product, like Polish products. It's not like, bang, blow you out, okay? And which is fine. I mean, sometimes you're looking for that, or some people are looking for that all the time. But this, there's tobacco behind it, but it's real light. The menthol is very... Um, Set wise, it's real, it's really pleasant. I mean, as far as menthol goes, it's very present, but it, at the same time, it's sort of mellow. Um, it seems to have a good amount of nicotine. Mind you, it's not promoted as a high nicotine product, so don't get that in your head. Um, it is very fine, but with a moisture content as it is, um, you don't have to be overly careful. Uh, I'm actually sniffing it. So, some of the stuff that's really dry, you basically get it on your fingers and put it under your nose and just breathe in anything more and it's hidden the back of your throat this isn't like that it's sort of refreshing the menthol is obviously there it's even in the front i'd say but it's not like overpowering the stuff looks quality uh, i mean visually it's a nice darker brown and there are no standout parts of it there there are no you know what is that off to the side that's a lighter color type deal nicotine is satisfying i would say yeah um th there's definitely a tingling sensation it's fairly easy to take now i'm not going to say due to how finely this is milled, that this is a beginner's, but I think a beginner could get away with it. Now, I got this from Mr. Snuff, which I have said repeatedly I go to, but am not affiliated with in any way, shape, or form. I got it from there, and it's running about $5 a can. Now, that's a little bit elevated due to, from the other products, but it is 20 grams, which is a considerable amount more. There's a little like micro tubs that I get. 
um, that are Indian manufacturer that are like less than two dollars. They're they're only well, depending on what source you go by, six to eight grams. All right, this twenty grams, healthy size tin that's filled all the way up. I mean, it's about the size of a dip can. The only thing with this is. These liftoff lids are not pocket suitable in my mind, all right? Uh, they usually have a bit of a suction, sort of, especially the first time, which is good, means the tin's good and nothing's been bent or anything, but no screw down, eh, I wouldn't carry that on you. Uh, so it's more of a sort of like tabletop thing. Uh, I guess if you had it on your coffee table, it would be a great conversation piece, depending who you're conversating with. Yeah, maybe that's not a good idea. Never mind. Anyway. Wow. Whoa. Ah, the bridge too far. I just stepped on it. Okay, that burned a little bit. And it's gone though. Anyway. This has been my review of Hedges, the snuff, in the 20 gram metal liftoff lid container. Uh, good showing. Like the fact that it's made for or by McBaron. All in all, pleasant product and thumbs up from me. Anyway, I do hope you are all... I do hope you all are well. As always, do take care of yourselves, and God bless.